Hello everyone. In this lesson, we're going to look at how to use the snipping tool to extract text or redact text from images. The new features are part of the latest update of the app, but Microsoft is touting these features as part of the Windows 11 version 23 update. So let's dive into the steps. So to use these features, I'm going to bring up the settings app just to take a screenshot of that. Once you take in the screenshot, you need to click the text actions button and that will scan the image and it will try to make sense of the text that is available. And from here, we're going to see that we get different options. One is to copy all the text and the quick redact option. And this drop down menu allows you to change what type of quick redact the feature does. So for this particular update, the quick redact can do redactions for emails and phone numbers. However, you can also do this manually. And if you don't want to copy everything, you can just simply select the text that you want, right click on it and just copy the text. You also have the option to redact that text. And if we use that option, this is how the redaction is going to look. Let's do one more. And then if we want to copy some text, right click, copy, and let's open the notepad. And then we paste the information that we copy from the image. Of course, if you're on the web, you can simply copy the text from the page and that's it. But this feature comes in handy if you receive a screenshot and you just want to extract that text or if you want to extract text from a picture that you have taken. Also, the quick redact is going to help you if you have to take a screenshot and it includes some sensitive information that you don't want to share with other people. This is a quick and easy way to hide that information and send it over to whomever you want to send that image. And that's it. That's how you extract text and redact text from a screenshot on the snipping tool for Windows 11. Remember to like that video leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.